Very quickly, let me introduce the Kingsman to you. Uh, the young man playing the steel guitar has been with the Kingsman since he was 17 years old. He's 30 now. And uh, I used to introduce him. I'd say he was from Midfield, Alabama. And then I would say, who knows where Midfield, Alabama is? Of course, nobody would know. And I would say the slums of Birmingham. Well, we were on the Nashville Network. I did that. The show was on Saturday. Monday morning, I got a letter from the mayor of Midfield, Alabama, <laughs> telling me not to do that no more. So would you welcome from one of our great southern cities, Midfield, Alabama, Gary Diller. Gary Diller, ladies and gentlemen. The young man that sings the tenor, when he joined the Kingsman seven years ago, he sounded like a little old girl, just a whining and a grunting around, and he's worked hard and practiced. Now he sounds like a full-grown woman. And I tell you, he's doing a great job. How about it for Gary Shepard? Gary Shepard. Our drummer, stand up, son. Oh, you are standing. I'm sorry. The drummer has been with the Kingsman since he was 13 years old. He's 28 now and just doing a great job. He's our road manager and takes care of everything, doing a great job. How about it for Greg Fox? Greg Fox. Come on up here, Ray. Not you, Tonto. Come on. Don't get in front of me, boy. Nobody gets in front of me. Now, old Ray has been with the Kingsman for... Many, 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 many years. And uh, I tell you, he does a great job singing bass. And like all the rest of the fellas up here, he got married when he came with the Kings, when he found him wife. Now, I didn't. I got married on the Mayflower coming over. But old Ray, old Ray got married while he was with the Kingsman. And he took his wife on their first date to a gospel concert at the Asheville Civic Center in Asheville, North Carolina, where we live. And boy, he picked her up, and she looked good, put her in the car, Looked at her, and he said, I think I'll marry you. She said, no, you won't. He said, Daddy told me not to marry no preacher or no gospel singer. So they went on and sung, got through, got through singing, and I thought Ray did a pretty good job. She looked at him and said, I think I will marry you. He said, well, you're not supposed to marry no gospel singer. She said, you didn't sing enough tonight to hurt nothing. I hope he does better tonight. How about it for Ray Reese? Oh, Lord, my God, when I in all Consider all the worlds thy hands have made. <laughs> I see the stars. I hear the roar.
that's got my crank turned. <laughs> Nobody enjoys having fun any better than I do. Nobody enjoys laughing and playing and telling jokes any better than I do. But I tell you one thing. What I'm feeling right now makes all the traveling, all the staying away from home, and everything worthwhile. I'm glad for Jesus. I'm glad. Let's give him the biggest hand of all this afternoon. That's why we sing. It's easy to get discouraged nowadays when you read the newspaper or watch television the way our nation is headed. Just make you sick at your stomach to see what all is going on. We might get a little emotional. We might get a little loud. Well, I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry either. It's the way we do it. We don't sing by note. We sing by letter. We just open up and let her fly. That's all we know. I wouldn't give you a dime for preaching and singing that you couldn't feel. That didn't have some excitement in it. We've got men now graduating to these cemetery, seminaries and, and uh, the only thing alive are the flowers growing out around the church. And I tell you what, I'm glad for Jesus and I'm glad for some excitement. I was watching a football game yesterday at Washington Penn State and yeah, I know who it was. Ohio State. I don't believe they showed up. <laughs> and all me, them people, when that boy made a touchdown, they got so excited. Oh, they, oh it was, they'd squeeze them hot dogs till the weenies came out of them and get mustard all over their shoes. But let us get a little bit loud. Let us get a little bit loud about Jesus. Or let us get a little fast about Jesus. Or let us get a little step in about Jesus. And we start losing people. I tell you one thing, I'm glad for Jesus. And if I could step higher, I'd step higher. Listen, God knows what he's doing. Here we go. Yeah, it's all under here tonight and we just hope that you'll enjoy the songs and the singing we hope they'll be a blessing to you of course we want to get a good video of course we want everything to look nice my makeup's all straight and everything and I'm ready to go but most of all we want the songs to be a blessing to you most of all we want you to feel something in the singing we don't travel 125,000 miles every year just because we don't have anything else to do we don't travel that far as singing in every major city in the United States just to feed the egos. The reason we do that is we sing for Jesus. Here's a song that says we represent. Hey Amen. Boy, that's good. That's good. I feel safe now. I got somebody to take care of me. <laughs> you know, back during that desert storm uh, operation, President Bush went up to heaven and uh, got up there to the pearly gates said, I want to talk to Moses. The guy said, I'm sorry, Moses is not seeing anybody. He said, please, and I'm in a war. Moses is an expert at crossing the desert. I need some help. The guy said, I'll go see if Moses wants to talk to you. Came back and said, he don't want to talk to you. <laughs> said, why? Said, the last time he talked to a bush, he had to spend 40 years in the wilderness. <laughs> I just as well tell that other. This, uh, <laughs> this guy was out bear hunting. Bear got after him, the gun jammed. Boy, he was running hard as he could go and, and just picking them up and putting them down. Run up against the cliff. Couldn't go anywhere. Gun jammed. And like all of us, when we get in trouble, boy, that old bear was just coming after him. He bowed his head and said, Lord, Lord, let that be a Christian bear. Said that old bear just put the brakes on and stopped. <laughs> bowed its head. <laughs> said, bless this meal I'm about to partake of. <laughs> that 
Stand off.